Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday, the third thirtieth. Was it like two more days till the market uh, till the end of the month? How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Bonnie, Grant, Michael, everybody. Well, let me tell you something. Um, hopefully, everybody, I don't know if everybody's been watching the news last night. Uh, President Trump came out and said that we're going to be quarantined up until the end of. That's crazy. The end of the next month of April. That's crazy. So anyway, I guess that's good news for us because we could basically just sit home and trade all day. Uh, it's going to really make the market extremely volatile. But um, but I'll tell you, it, last week was probably one of the busiest weeks that, I, I mean, I, I, I traded more last week than I probably traded in like, I don't know, six months. It is just, it was so exhausting. And, you know, the staff has been working here at CT over the weekend to try to get things done. We've seen a very, very big uptick and people now want to start learning how to trade listen it's never not too late to learn how to trade guys um now that now that we know we're going to be here in quarantine for another month this volatility could really pick up um and it can get worse if things don't get better it can get worse so there's been a lot of good stocks a lot of stocks that are moving now before, before we start talking about what traded yesterday just want to kind of let you know that came up on my radar um and I was, I was trying to, I was going to mention this. To, it just happened just now. I just realized it. The shipping stocks are moving. The shipping stocks? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Where's my buddy Ken Thole on my dryer stock? Dryer stock, uh, DRYS, I got bought out. Uh, all the shipping stocks are moving? I, I got to check out the news. What's going on with the shipping stocks? Uh, anyway, kids, they're moving. Uh, why not in Canada? Well, no, Ken, you stay staying in Florida. You know that. Nice there. Anyway, um, Anybody here know what the news of the shipping stocks are? I mean, it just came up on my radar just now, and it's just not tops that's moving. GLBS is moving. Oops, typed in the wrong window. I mean, some of you remember these stocks. They got crushed, destroyed. Uh, GLBS is moving. Nate's moving. They're all, you could, if you see all the net changes, they're all huge. Uh, Trump mentioned them as... Uh, uh, as important is that what is that what he said let me you know listen i tell you you gotta listen to what these politicians keep talking about especially in a in a uh, a market of desperation regarding about this whole coronavirus um anything that taps into that could change the trajectory on certain industries is actually affecting and we've learned that and i'll tell you guys you know some of you that have been here from the beginning of the, i mean some of you guys have been here for a long time and you've probably learn this more and more now you're really starting to realize it now that you're actually ending into a big crisis but um it all I, I learned a lot of this when it all started with hurricane sandy how one thing got affected oil and then home depots and you know generators and you know switch everything just kind of just spilled over construction building everything else but this is just like non-stop first it was the pharmaceutical stocks you know, with the coronavirus, and then all of a sudden we had the market crashing, and then obviously the masks, and then all of a sudden, you know, the uh, the bailouts, and now it's the shipping. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. it well, it's it's delisted because it got bought out, Deb. That's why. All right, but um, but anyway, regarding about what happened last week, oh, and I forgot to mention the pot stocks, TLRY, you know. All of them, last week, they just, like, were literally on fire. A lot of them were did really, really well. We bring up a 10-minute chart. I see a little bit more what happened last week. So we had this one. This, this thing you could see here in the long term. It was literally around, like, $4. It ran all the way to ten fifty. It started to back off a little bit. But all the pot stocks did really, really well. Uh, early, you know, it had, a, it had an early run, and then it kind of popped. But that was good for the past couple of days. So... I mean, you know, we talked about that yesterday. Listen, that ship is gone and sailed, all right? Now is a whole new thing that's going on regarding that. Let me bring up another one, ASTC. That was another great mover on Friday. Uh, that one just popped, went from like 320 to $6. That was just, hands down, that thing was just awesome. Love that one right there. Um, all right, so let's go look around what's going on this morning. You know, I, I did a couple of... Uh, Instagram posts on a couple of stocks. Listen, I was just talking to Josh this morning, and we were talking about it. This is Monday, right? What do we know about Monday, guys? It's not the. It's not always the greatest, you know, on Monday mornings. But you know, with all this 
you know, crazy actions going on. I mean, last Monday was absolutely crazy. I mean, last week we had a huge run up in the market. I uh, we did we did some good trades on some big winners. I mean, anything you anything you bought yesterday, Boeing was actually my biggest winner. But we got the market up about two hundred thirty six. Actually, when when President Trump was speaking yesterday, and he was talking about which is horrible. Um, the if they didn't do anything, the death rate would have been like two million in the United States. I mean that that's and now that look how many look how many deaths we had. Um, they said we have what over three almost three thousand close. They get a bit projecting almost two hundred thousand deaths. I mean that's pretty scary. And you know you know some of us being in a hot spot like me in New York. I mean I've been quarantined ever since. And I know my whole staff has. I sent them home a long time ago. By the way, coolest thing ever. Just kind of let you know. You know obviously you know we need some. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know me, I love to cook and I, I pack stuff, but uh, I'm being quarantined in my house. I could probably live here for another six months to a year, but I need a couple of essential, a couple of things. And I did that Amazon, uh, if you can even get them on the, uh, get, get an order in, but I did an Amazon delivery home. I'll tell you what, awesome thing was here at 830 this morning. A couple of little, couple of odds and ends here. Highly recommend that's pretty cool. It actually must work really well for, you know, seniors, uh, and, you know, obviously, coronavirus victims. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just works great. Anyway, let's go look around what's moving in the market. There are a couple of things because today is actually a really busy day for us. We got phase three that's coming up. Uh, we're going to start on Monday. And uh, not only phase three, you know, this is the most exciting part of all the phases. Uh, this is where you get to trade side by side with me, take everything we've learned and so on. And then obviously, don't forget tomorrow, another big day. Really looking forward to talk to Tom Sosnoff. Uh, the founder of Thinkorswim from Tastyworks. He's going to be coming on again. Really looking forward to see what his option strategies. I definitely have a couple of him I want to bring up regarding about some of these, these stocks that came down. But remember, when we had him on last time, that's when the market obviously uh, just started, you know, this whole coronavirus thing started taking off. So that one looked pretty interesting. Anyway, a couple of stocks we're going to bring up really quick. SPCB, that's a nice little mover right there. You can see that one had a nice little pop. Went from 60 cents to a buck 20. That one looked look pretty good. I want to keep an eye on that one. SPTV. Another one that's popping up pretty nicely, too. You can see some of these stocks. I mean, they got decimated. 22 down to a buck 70. That one is gapping up pretty nicely. But she's starting to trend down in pre-market right now. So I'm not really, you know, remember, sometimes we have these stocks and all of a sudden things change. CTRM. That's another one that gapped up this morning, 85 cents to a buck 20. Now she's starting to trend down. But look at the symbol. Maritime is a shipping stock. So remember, listen, if all the shipping stocks, if one big one that's moving, it, they're all going to move. So, I mean, obviously, Tops is the, actually the one that's up 73%, 80, uh, 28 million shares already traded. But the, the shipping stocks are the ones that you want to keep an eye on. Uh, that, so far, that that's what I'm seeing. It's coming up very frequently on my wa watch list. DLPH, that was one that all of you guys are watching pretty good. Um, I actually tweeted this, uh, actually, in my Instagram. This is the one I actually Instagrammed at uh, 835. And you could see, obviously, this one's starting to go up. The only concern I had with this BLPH, which I mentioned earlier, is the spread. The spread is really, really big. But I thought so far, this one was obviously the best one that moved and you can remember the stock was a $4 stock. It ran all the way to $26. So um, that one's doing pretty well. A little bit on the brand name side. Brand name side. AMD's obviously doing pretty well this morning. She really um, didn't back off too much. You know, st this stock was like on fire. I mean, the stock was doing great. So uh, it went from, what, 30 all the way to, 50, uh, to 60. Fun stock to trade. Great iceberg orders. Look like she's moving good again this morning. OMI, another one that's making higher highs. Decent amount of shares, uh, 260,000 in pre-market. Don't see too many iceberg orders over there on the matrix, but, um, but is making a higher high. That one's pretty good too. APT, we know that one very, very well. Remember this stock went from $5 to 40. We cleaned up on this one. This thing was just unbelievable, but I don't know what's going on right now. She's kind of backing off right now, so not really too crazy about it. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that one too. Probably scratch this one out. I thought it was going to be a pretty good one, but things change. You know, listen, when you start at 8 o'clock and then 8 30, you know, you could see how the things were gapped up pretty nicely, but all of a sudden it changed. All right, we know about the Nate trade. 
Uh, Blue Apron, by the way, is moving again this morning. Don't know what's going on with that one, but that one's up a little bit. It's up about 15% this morning. That one was one hell of a short squeeze, guys. Who ever thought a stock can go from $3 to 28 You know? But anyway, the big, the big topic to talk about this morning, what everyone has to keep an eye on, is the shipping stocks. And by the way, if I knew that earlier, I would I would have posted on the, my Twitter and Instagram around the 8:30 time frame. But you know what? Things change. You know, as as time goes on. Now we're less than 15 minutes away before the market opens up. I really want to be focused on these these, these stocks right here. These are the ones that really uh, caught my attention. All right. Anything that I did not call out? Ooh, look at that BLDP making new high up to 20. That was a nice pop right there. Nice, nice pop. Look at that up 60 percent now. When I posted it earlier. Uh, what did I say? It was only up 30. Yeah, 39. Now it's doing pretty well. DLDP. All right. Anything we're missing, guys, I did not call out? Anything else? Ken says the CLVS is, remo uh, is continuing from... From Friday. Uh, wrong command. I N O moving. Come on. Am I typing a wrong window? I N O. Yeah, I N O has got it. That stock has we done pretty well with. Uh, you heard the news on Johnson Johnson. They came out with some good news. They might have came out with a cure for the coronavirus. So, but we're not going to be spending. We're not going to be trading a hundred dollar stock. D C L will be the shipping stocks, Andrea. Where well, shipping stocks obviously, you know, moving up pretty nicely too. That one is got going up. Well, the market's up too. I mean, well, it's only up 173 now. It dropped about 60 points. Let me tell you, unbelievable volatility in today's markets. All right, so listen, it's Monday. We got class today for all the gold and platinum students. We'll, I'll see you in there. We're going to be starting at 9:35. So we'll give the market five minutes before we start making our decision. So if you didn't get your logons, just um, you know, you should you should you should have got your logons. You know how to get in there. If you're new here to Cybertrain University, I know a lot of people are starting their new trial this week here at Cybertrain University. Listen, um, just want to give everybody a heads up. This is not a teaching room. I keep repeating it. I don't think everyone, people are not listening to me very clear, carefully because um, we're getting people that got, you know, listen, I, no disrespect to anyone else, okay? But there are some people in here that we have to ban you because you're not obviously – you haven't spoke to the education advisor, and you're asking questions that are obviously not really qualified. This is a trading room. It's not a teaching room. You have to talk to the education advisor. Look at, the, look at the customer service, the benefit. We want you to kind of realize that trading is for you so you guys don't make a big mistake. So, you know, once again, don't be insulted. Like, if, um, if, if, if something happens in a room, you can't chat or something, just call us up and we'll take care of it. It's just that we're trying to get a hold of you. We want to know what you, what's going on because we don't want to see people lose money in trading. You've got the greatest opportunity in the world. Learn and see what it's like to be in a real trading professional room. Now, one thing I do want to remind everybody that if you are new, it will seem very fast for you. And believe me, it's not. Okay? We have different levels of stocks that we trade. We have advanced traders. We have beginner traders here. So just make sure you talk to Education Advisor. He'll explain that in detail. In the meantime, everyone, good luck today. Happy trading. You got about 10 minutes before the market opens up. If, you, if you're going to be a student, I'll see you in there. If, um, if you want, you can, remember, you could be in both rooms if you want. You could be in the trading room and the teaching room. So you can go out there and work together. Guys, good luck today. That's right, Ken. Look, listen, and learn. That's our whole motto here at Cyber Trade University. Happy trading, everybody.